St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in, Sarah! What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, it's all right. I'm gonna go out to Taylor. Saint John. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Together, yeah, I'll bet. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. St. John out. I got the gate. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Is out there running just fine without us. Murder uh, off to our friends. As a scene of these assholes more, and I gotta take them out. Everyone's got a clear hand in this, but they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack.
guests. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here. Take a closer look. Which way? You're mine now. Okay. Finally. We can all sit down and talk. We got food, we got some moonshine, we got some tail. Come on out!
Taylor. Is Dickens say John? How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Please. Don't let them hate me. John, in here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never. Leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir.
Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> Common newt. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. You little shit! Oh, Jesus!
Mm. Oh. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. And yeah, we'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on! Come on. So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, while well, the biologist is kind of fucked right now, what do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. What I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. Hold on. Oh shit. I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! But you, you're, you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my God! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought. Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, 
seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How are you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I figured that I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look. Two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Again? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Fox got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Copy that. Can make something out of this.
Oxygen tanks. These would blow up pretty good.
ammo left.
There's a swarm on you. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. When the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The office's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? 
Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. At ease, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John. Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Kevin. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp... Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my... Home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. Oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 